Taped live from the basement of a welding company in Hell Kitchen, deep in the bowels of Manhattan, it's the 1990 Roundtable Awards. And now, here are your hosts, Andrea Lipinski and Keith Roundtable Awards de Candido. Thank you from the studio audience, and thank you, Hawk. Uh, we're back with a whole bunch of new episodes of The Chronic Rift, starting this evening with the 1990 Roundtable Awards. First, however, you may notice the person on my right is a new, different person on my right. This is our new host, Andrea Lipinski. Thank you, Keith. I've been a big fan of this show for some time, and I'm glad that I actually get to co-host with someone like you. <laughs> anyway, the awards. Anyway, these awards were not just chosen willy-nilly. They were chosen by you, the viewers. So don't blame us if you don't like the choices. Tonight we feature as the nominees the, the ones that received the most votes. The ones that won were the ones that received the most of the most votes. Of course. Just to make sure everything le legit, the law firm of Crescenzo, Andreasi, Graziana, and Peters checked over everything to make sure it was right as our auditors. And one final note, anything David Lynch produces is a fantasy. So it counts. Anyway, our first presenters for the evening are um, Paula Orea and Ken Walker. Paula used, was a former director of the Rift and our makeup artist. Ken is a special effects artist who is was on our discussion of special effects, appropriately enough. Come on up. For our first one, we're introducing best perform performers in a movie or TV series. Scott Bakula for Quantum Leap. Danny Glover for Predator 2. Angelica Houston for Witches. Eric Pierpont for Alien Nation. Patrick Stewart, Star Trek The Next Generation. And the winner. We have the award for best writer of a comic book, novel, TV series, or movie. Orson Scott Card, Maps in a Mirror. Peter David, Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm sorry, Star Trek The Incredible Hulk. Ooh. Neil Gaiman, The Sandman. Ellen Kushner, Thomas the Rhymer. Alan Moore, Big Numbers. And the winner is... The next award is for Best Director of a Movie or TV Series. Kenneth Johnson, Alien Nation. Paul Verhoeven for Total Recall. Jerry Zucker for Ghost. And now, uh, an award that is near and dear to my heart, uh, Best Special Effects in a TV Series or Movie. Okay, The Flash. Uh, the Navigator. Predator 2. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. And Total Recall. And the winner is the most important award of all time. Our next okay. presenters are going to be Joe Duffy and Joe Pierce. Joe and Joe once again. Uh, Joe Duffy is a comics writer who appeared on our discussion of Doctor Who a while back, and Joe Pierce is a comics fan who was on our discussion of alternative comic books. They will be presenting the next four awards. Take it away, Joe and Joe. Come on up here. Our first category that we're going to present is Best TV Series Episode. The first entry is The Best of Both Worlds, Part 1, Star Trek The Next Generation. Also, The Best of Both Worlds, Part 2, Star Trek The Next Generation. The Halloween episode from The Simpsons. Real Men from Alien Nation. The Way Home from Quantum Leap. And the round table goes to... The uh, next round table is for the best movie, and the nominees are Arachnophobia. Ghost. Gremlins 2, The New Batch. Solaris. And Total Recall. Our next category is Best Novel. And the nominees are Chernavog by C.J. Cherry. The Dark Half by Stephen King. Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert E. Heinlein, the restored version. Tahanu by Ursula K. Le Guin. And Tigana by Guy Gavriel K. And our winner is... Okay, and our next round table is for the best comic book. Alien Nation, The Spartans, by Bill Spangler, writer, James Tucker, and Path Grow, artist. Batman, by a number of different writers and artists. Kings in Disguise, by James Vance, writer, and Dan Burr, artist. The Sandman, by Neil Gaiman and various artists. Finally, Spider-Man, by Todd McPhailin, writer and artist. Actually, that's Paige Grow on Alien Nation and Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I've got to work with these guys. They'll want me to get it right. 
but the winner is... Okay. Um, our next presenters are Celeste Hotling and Orenthal Hawkins. Celeste uh, was on when we discussed Robert Heinlein and was kind enough to come back for our solstice party. Orenthal also came back for our solstice party. He's been on whole bunches of times. He was on when we talked about science fiction TV shows that flopped. He was on when we talked about Peter David, and he has been kindly serving as our MC this evening. And you will also notice that Arantha Hawkins, you will recognize from the fabulous singing debut earlier this evening. Yes, of course. Anyway, come on up here, do the next two awards, and life will be good. Or at least, so. Aren't you glad this isn't as long as the Grammys? First, for Best Chronic Rift episode. Frankenstein, the first SF novel. Robert Heinlein. Quantum Leap. Special Effects. Or J.R.R. Tolkien. Well, let's see. The round table goes to... Okay, uh, the next award is Best Character in a Movie, TV Series, Novel, or Comic Book. Al, Quantum Leap. Data from Star Trek, The Next Generation. Dober. The Exterminator from Arachnophobia. Christine Gathercall from Big Numbers. And CEO, CEO Mina Gladstone, The Fall of Hyperion. Okay. And this round table goes to... Goes boy, to. you did that well. Okay, we're, we're uh, sort of hogging the last one for ourselves. Uh, the last two, actually. Um, the la next one is... Um, what is the category? Right there. Best thing. Thing. Best thing. Very general category. Not, not like the movie, the thing. Just best thing. Any old thing. We're feeling abstract this evening. All kinds of things. Best thing of 1990. Thing. And the nominees are... The nominees. Alienation. The Complete Alec Eddie Campbell. No, it's The Complete Alec by Eddie Campbell. The Complete Alec by Eddie Campbell. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, all right. The Flash. That's the TV series, not the comic book. Um, Gates McFadden. She's a pretty cool thing. Yes. Anyway, um, my personal favorite, William Shatner, not directing a movie. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There, there is more. There is more. Um, Tagana by Guy Gavriel K. And remember we said anything by David Lynch counts as a fantasy? Well, Twin Peaks is a nominee for Best Thing of 1990. You want to open the envelope? I guess she wants to open the envelope. That would be Please lovely. open the envelope. That seems to be it. We're 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 plumb out of stuff. We that's have... it. Okay. The we have a couple of yes. That's it. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't want it? No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, you we know. ran out of awards. Nobody voted for anything else. Well, okay. Yeah. Anyway, thought I'd let you know what's coming up over the next few weeks. Um, we are going to be doing next week's Science Facts in Science Fiction. We'll be having a couple of authors, Ben Bova and Charles Platt, for that one. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll be doing Beauty and the Beast, uh, including Stephanie Wiltsey, who is the uh, editor of Pipelines, so Beauty and the Beast fan magazine, and Wendy Peeney, who did the graphic novel version for First Publishing. Can we talk uh, about the movie, too? Huh? Can we talk about the movie? The movie. The French movie. No, 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 no. We're talking about Ron Perlman and Linda Hamilton getting well, pregnant and shot. we can compare shot. it. We could. You know, to add some depth to the, the discussion, maybe? Maybe a little culture? Culture? On culture. the Chronic Rift? Are you yes. out of your mind? Yes, a little culture. Well, maybe. Just because I've seen it and you haven't. That's true. <clears throat> I'm jealous. Anyway, what are we doing next? We're, next, we're doing the works of Ursula K. Le Guin, author of Tehanu, the Earthsea series, Left Hand of Darkness, all kinds of neat stuff. Um, authors Patricia Keneally will be on the show, as well as editor James Frankel and critic Don Keller. Uh, you may remember Jim Frankel from our Women in Science Fiction discussion. Um, and after that, oh yeah, by the way, Patricia Keneally is the Patricia Keneally, the one who uh, married Jim Morrison and is in the movie with Oliver, the Oliver Stone movie that just came out. And yes, she's going to be on our show, ain't we so? We're just, we're on the cutting edge, Keith. We are. Um, Joe Duffy, whom you saw a little while ago, will be on our Japanese animation show, which will be the next week, in addition to our logo designer, Felix Rodriguez, and a player to be named later. Um... After that, we are doing Getting Your Fantasy and Science Fiction Published. Yes, I have to look at her in order to remember her things. She's, she's, she's my muse. Um, that will have Omni Editor Ellen Datlow and um, somebody else. Somebody else. Yes. Oh, Laurie Perkins, an agent, as well as another player to be named later. Um, we'll be doing a show on Blake 7. Celeste, whom you saw up here before, will be on that one, as well as a couple of people who've written about the show, Joe Nazaro and Tom Beck. And I'm sure you're all bored to tears at this point. Um, 
And the last, sh uh, not the last show, but one other show we're doing is an interview show. This is going to be a special, different thing. We're going to do a different format and... We're really? into these different formats. Yeah, we are. I mean, look at tonight. You had your Christmas show, you had this, you get, you know, you get the blue velvet dress with this tie. tie. I don't know. With this show is getting too different. What's wrong with my different. tie? Wait a minute, what's wrong with my tie? <coughs> it doesn't go, Keith. Anyway, the interviews will be with author Tom Dish, artist Tim Hildebrandt, and comics editor Andrew Helfer. And we... Go on, She's go holding on. the tie. I love this. Anyway, next week will be Science Fact, and we'll see you then. Right? Right. Right. Good night. This episode was sponsored in part by Tor Books, a publisher of fantasy and science fiction books available at your local bookstore, including White Jenna by Jane Yolen, and The Red Tape War by Jack L. Chalker, Mike Resnick, and George Alec Effinger, both now available, as well as the upcoming Xenocide by Orson Scott Card.